right, overall feeling about tonight, did you go in wanting to talk to any specific guy, like get something off your chest? Because normally mental all is about the guys getting stuff off of their chest. Yeah, I mean, I wanted the guys to have their moment, obviously, but I'm not going to lie. Like, I wanted to say something to Lee. Mm -hmm. um, there are things that I learned watching the show, outside of the show, just everything else that was going on, and I wanted to address it in a very, like, succinct way. I didn't want to give too much life into it, but I had to say something because I always have something to say. It was so good. It was so good. I was going to say, like, you didn't exactly memorize it, but you had your bullet points. Yeah, yeah. I knew there were certain things I wanted to address, but not in, like, I didn't want to keep it going. I don't want to prolong the situation. I just wanted to say something and keep it moving. It was perfect because we had already had, like, an hour and a half of it, and then you said it, and you're like, boom, done, moving on. Yeah. Next question, Chris. Yes. <laughs> so next question for me, for you, is let's talk about hometowns. Um, your dad, did he actually get to meet the guys? My dad did meet the guys. Okay. Now, you'll see whether or not that plays out on camera, off camera, but it was very important to me and my dad knew that to meet the men that, you know, like I was bringing home and who I could possibly be engaged to. You're really close to your family. They were really harsh on Brian. Were they harsh on all the guys and we just didn't see it? Yeah, I mean, I'm skeptical. I'm doubtful about things. I question things and so did my family. And they were like that with everyone. Like okay. there were highs and lows throughout the entire hometowns. All right. My hometowns. Got it. So then you also discover in this episode that Peter and Brian don't necessarily love each other. How did that make you feel? I mean, I get it. When you get to that point, like you're talking to, you're with people who are competing against you, for lack of better words, for someone's heart. You know, like you're, you're trying to be engaged to this person. And so like it makes sense that you're not buddy buddy with them. Like I get it. I was in your shoes. I can't say I was buddy buddy with every single person that was left with me in the end. So I understand that. All right. Now let's talk about fun stuff. You had a couple, a happy couple weekend last weekend. For those of them who are in part of the Bachelor family, Happy Couple Weekend is when you get to hang out in a house, confined to a house, with your fiance for about three days, right? What do you guys do to pass the time? Just binge watch a lot of Netflix? <laughs> I mean, sometimes we watch Netflix. Like, we do everything. Like, it's, it's so important because we're getting the chance to know each other like we haven't before. So there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of planning the future, there's a lot of laughs, there's a lot of like, for myself and my fiance, we both love sports, so like we literally wake up and we watch Sports Center and we watch everything else, all sports, and, and, and so it's great. Like, he's like my best friend, so we have so much in common, so it's like we play games, we, it, it, we do it all. We do all the things.